Hello, my name is Goldie Songra and I would like to take this opportunity to share the findings of our research undertaken here at the School of Oral and Dental Sciences at the University of Bristol in the United Kingdom. Our study was a single-centre randomised clinical control trial that investigated the rates of initial alignment of the labial segments as well as the rates of extraction space closure in both the maxilla and the mandible whilst using conventional, active self-ligating and passive self-ligating orthodontic appliances. In recent years, self-ligating appliances have gained popularity within the orthodontic community and these brackets have been marketed, offering a variety of advantages compared to conventional brackets, including secure ligation and reduced friction. A number of clinical studies have investigated these appliances, and the majority of these have concluded by showing that there is no difference between the different bracket designs. However, all of these studies have limitations and shortcomings. These include that they only compared one bracket design, for example, a passive self-ligating with conventional, that they restricted the study to a set time period, for example 10 or 20 weeks, they only investigated a single jaw, and they used small samples and different methodologies and treatment protocols within the same study. This was therefore the justification for undertaking this particular research. Our study is unique in the current literature as it investigated and compared three different orthodontic bracket designs. These were the Omni conventional bracket, the Innovation R active self-ligating bracket and the Damon 3MX passive self-ligating bracket. This study assessed the rates of alignment and extraction space closure in both the maxilla and the mandible. It also followed all of the patients from the start of their orthodontic treatment until the completion and end of their orthodontic appliance therapy. Our randomised clinical control trial showed that there was a significant difference between both bracket type and jaw on the rate of initial alignment. Initial alignment was significantly faster with the conventional bracket when compared to both the active and passive self-ligating brackets, whilst there was no difference in the rate of alignment between either of the two self-ligating brackets. Initial alignment was also faster with all three bracket types in the maxilla when compared to the mandible. For the rate of extraction space closure, there was no significant difference between all three bracket designs. However, when we looked at jaw, there was a significant difference between the arches. Space closure was faster in the mandible with the conventional and active self-ligating brackets, and faster in the maxilla with the passive self-ligating bracket. I am very proud of this research and the contribution it makes to the existing current literature and I hope that you will find this article interesting, educational and useful. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the co-authors, fellow clinicians and colleagues who took part in this study and for all of their help and support. Thank you for your kind attention and I hope you enjoy reading our study in the current journal of the AJODO.